Hello fellow fruit lovers! It's been a long time since I've posted a video on this channel. So I thought I would start out with something I've been doing for over a year, which is juicing. I watched that DVD called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, and um, it's an Australian guy who has who had, had several health ailments and decided to commit to juicing entirely, only drinking juice, and how it uh, basically turned his health around. So this is the juicer that he uses in the DVD. It's a Breville juice fountain, and I'll include a link to it in the About section below. And how I get started is I take a produce bag that um, would be thrown away or recycled, and I put it into the container that is the waste container. So when you run the juicer, you you know throw the um, carrots, apples, all that stuff down there, and then all of the non-juice material, the fiber stuff, shoots out over here. So it makes for easy cleanup when you put that bag in there. And at this point, I'm not composting because I haven't figured out a way that will work for me. But if you guys have ideas, I would appreciate it. I don't have a place in my yard. I don't have a place in my, um, in my home, but I could potentially have one in my yard or you know, a gadget of some sort that would help me compost. But I just haven't been able to find anything online that I like. So if there's one that you like, please leave it in the comments below. See the bag is um, snug tight in there and then the lid's on top and then Obviously, to get it ready for the juicing part, you just slide this over the top. That allows the juicer to know that everything's secure and ready to go. And then that's when the juicing switch works. I juice almost every single night unless I'm going out to eat. And I keep all of my um, apples, pears, and oranges, and sometimes my other citrus fruit, in one of my drawers and I take it all out if, if it came in a bag for example I go ahead and recycle those bags and I, I my sister just got started juicing and as I told her as long as a juice has an apple and an orange it's gonna taste pretty darn good and then I have carrots and celery here I've got ginger root which I try to put in every single juice Lemon, probably won't use lemon today. Then I always try to do a couple of garlic cloves. I've got some kale that I had left over from a recipe that I'm making. Once I have rinsed everything off in a colander, then I put it on a cutting board and I will just shoot it through the juicer. A lot of uh, vegetables and fruit don't require that you peel it. The only thing that you might want to peel are citrus fruit. So um, I've taken off the peel of the citrus fruit. Without further ado, let's get juice. I always run the juicer on high. Um, there's a low setting that's for softer fruits and vegetables, but um, because I do this every night, I usually just do it um, on high to get it finished. That stack of veggies I had only produced that much juice and I try to fill up a mason jar and that's what I have um, to drink with my dinner every night so I'm gonna add an orange and probably another apple to fill it up 
Okay, once I'm done juicing, then I pour it in their ha from their handy dandy pit handy dandy pitcher into this mason jar, and you'll notice there's there's a foam that happens when you juice, and this pitcher has kind of a foam separator. So oftentimes when we have a family dinner, I will um, make one of these and bring it over and it grosses out my family because the color isn't that favorable and isn't what we would think of when we think of juice. So um, I understand it might not be so delicious looking for you, but it is absolutely delicious for me. I crave this um, at least five nights a week and really find that my body needs it and wants it now. One of the things that I learned from Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead is it, even if you're eating the quantity of food that would fill your stomach, the reason we become obese is because it isn't the right quantity of nutrients and micro vitamins, micronutrients and vitamins that we need. So our stomach tells our brain we're still hungry but this really helps get the micronutrients and um, vitamins that you need so that your stomach realizes it's hungry. So this is that's the foam left over. And literally, I rinse all of this off and then put it in the dishwasher. And then um, it, it pretty much fills the top level of my dishwasher, I'll show you. When I'm finished, um, the only tricky part is the blade. This part right here will have a bunch of um, the pulp and stuff attached to it, so um, I take that out with my fingers. But the blade is kind of the tricky part to clean. So this brush comes with the juicer and I just rinse it off and then uh, I wipe this down like that usually and then just do a circular motion to kind of release all the little bits and pieces that got in there. I do the same on the other side. And it makes it all come, um, you know, it gets it out of the metal mesh that's there. I come from one of those households where my mom always washed thoroughly the dishes before she put them in the dishwasher. And I guess I'm just kind of a germ freak in that regard. So I'll rinse it off and then I'll do it one more time under the water to ensure that I've gotten off as much as I can. And then I put it in the dishwasher. So here are all the Breville parts uh, that go to the juicer. I always put them on the top shelf of my dishwasher. Here's the pitcher, here's the um, fruit shoot, if you will. And then this is the piece that the blade sits on top of. And then the brush, um, because we're dealing with you know, fresh produce, I always um, put that in the silverware part. As I have to say, it's a pretty good juice. Uh, I took um, some sips when I was cleaning off everything. That little foam at the top, I'll probably end up throwing out. As you drink the juice, it um, it separates and it, it doesn't, the, the juice is of a higher density, so it comes faster because of gravity. Um, so you usually don't get too much of that foam anyway. But there have been times where the foam like completely grosses me out, so I take a spoon and remove it. And then, then the last thing is I just wipe this down, and then it will be ready for use tomorrow night. Let me know in the comments below what questions you have. In the About section, I'll include a link to the Breville F Juice Fountain Plus, and then I'll also include a link to that DVD if you want to check it out. Let me know any of your juicing tips or composting tips. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will encourage me to continue sharing videos on this channel. 
One last thing that I forgot to mention, the Breville comes with recipes. So if you're scared to try it because, wow, this girl just threw in a bunch of fruits and vegetables and they're drinking them, um, you, there are recipes that you can follow easily and they taste really good. So you can also find juicing recipes online easily. I just have gotten to the point with juicing that I, I know what vegetables and fruits I like and as long as I like them, they seem to work well together. And again, one apple and one orange are so essential for me to like a juice.